Welcome back and hello if you're new. Following their 2015 effort Io, Parkway Drive returned this year with reverence. see that on Aya, you know, they were beginning to take steps into the more experimental realms and Reverence pushes that even further. There are various different ideas put forward on Reverence, for example, Prey, which sounds like a cross between Dropkick Murphys and Ailstorm, which I kind of love. <laughs> track on the record offers something totally different and it's quite an experimental approach. Shadowboxing features for the first time clean vocals. Cemetery Bloom is a fantastic instrumental before The Void um, and kind of plays on this orchestral side of the band uh, that they've been exploring with the addition of kind of almost like Hans Zimmer style minimalist uh, electronics. got tracks like Absolute Power where it almost sounds somewhat like Rage Against the Machine. You can see where the band were taking their first steps with Aya and how they might end up with a song like Absolute Power on Reverence. However, of course, being Parkway Drive, the choruses are some of the best choruses they've ever done. For example, on Prey. Pray we all pray for the on The Void. It's you rot, in blood, wishing wells, and a personal favourite of mine, Kronos. But it's a very emotional record, and I think it's possibly Winston McCall's finest performance to date. But The Colour of Leaving, the final track, is probably one of the most um, emotionally raw tracks on the album. Almost kind of like as a spoken word, but it's got an, a slight bluesy edge to it. And it's incredibly catchy as well. I think it's very much to do with grief. Um, and if you listen to that final track, you can really hear it in um, Winston's voice. There's also a lot of unorthodox guitar sounds used on the record. In particular, the swirling kind of leads in Wishing Wells. There's a lot of space between notes as well, I've noticed. For example, on I Hope You Rot, where they kind of understand when to when to hold back sometimes and again on absolute power it's got these stadium huge choruses and on shadow boxing it kind of culminates with the clean vocals and then there's use of cello and violin one of my favorite tracks is probably chronos where the band almost go for a kind of prog sensibility but it's anchored by these fantastic leads that Parkway have become known for. And it just, it really kind of gets under your skin. That's one of the biggest things I've found about this record is that the hooks, both vocally and melodically, really stick with you. But the real secret is the build up. So let's take The Void, for example. So they build on one riff. And then they add a second layer. Before adding really kind of almost Tink twinkly leads an master, and everything is done so seamlessly that you almost don't even realize that this happened similarly there are small elements of melody which appear like right at the end of wishing wells which kind of push that riff slightly over no, and again on the void There's also some classic Parkway Drive riffs on Wishing Wells, for example. It's got that two-step kind of sleepwalker kind of sensibility to it. But of course, there's those classic Parkway Drive drops as well. So for example, on Prey. Pray. I feel that Cemetery Bloom, you know, if the band had really, really gone for it and really kind of had this massive orchestration behind it, I think it could have been even better than it was, but as it is, it's a, it's a good interlude track which leads perfectly into the void. My only other real gripe is with I Hope You Rot, there's a final section where the band fade out and then just as the song's about to end, they put a guitar solo in. They should have just maybe brought it forward by four bars and it would have worked. But it almost feels like what's the point in even putting it in there? The artwork was initially somewhat of an eyesore, but after I kind of looked at it, 
and understood that this idea of duality in heaven and hell and you know what what the what reverence is essentially based upon it makes sense parkway drive have changed and if you enjoy their new sound you'll find so much to get from reverence and this could well be the end of the horizons deep blue era of the band but as one era ends so does another begin and for that reason i'm gonna give it a four out of five Parkway Drive's brand new album, Reverence, is out May 4th via Epitaph, and you can pick it up underneath me. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like and subscribe button, and um, make sure to drop a comment and check out my Apocalyptic Anniversary series on Metal Sucks. Peace.